Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about mining in Kenshi, how to get started in mining, however you want to word it, that's what we're going over. So we're going to start a new game and be the plain old peasant, the way the game is intended to be played. Alright, so obviously this doesn't matter, you do what you want to do. Alright, that's my guy, beautiful. His name is Ark. Sick. That's what I like to see, baby. So when you want to start mining, you want to start making money so you can buy one of these tiny little shacks in town, whatever it may be, you're going to run outside and you're going to have a few options to work with as we come down this hill here. You'll notice that it is an iron resource. Now you may think iron is a bit better than copper. You know, it sounds more expensive. Heck, it even has a, a higher quality. Don't be fooled though because iron actually sells for roughly, this is a guess here, but one third the price that copper sells for. So your best bet when spawning here in whatever the heck, uh, shack? Shack? No, hub. <laughs> Whenever you spawn in the hub, you're going to want to run down here to where the copper is because you're going to be making a whole lot more cash that way. So, you know, once your one iron pops out, you may not even see this little menu here. You might have just right clicked. Left click on the rock, that'll bring out your little resource panel. Hit I to open up your inventory and you can hold down shift and right click. And that will send it into your inventory. Otherwise you can just pick it up and drop it in. Ooh, that is one thing you want to be very careful of when mining is hungry bandits. If you have food or anything they think is valuable, you are a target and you are weighed down by iron or whatever else may be on you. So you definitely want to be zoomed out and who knows, even back a ways. One thing you'll notice as you start to mine in this game is your laboring skill will go up. Right now my mining is at 0.54 times speed, right? So as I level up my laboring, I will also mine faster. So you don't necessarily want to be switching around your farmers, your miners, you know, whoever's available. You kind of want to keep them in their specific trade. Alright, I got my piece of copper here, shift click that in, and we're going to run over here to this little bar. So once you got your your materials, whatever, you're going to want to right click on him, press 1 or click the top option. We're here to sell though. So if we hover over our items, we actually get to see the value and sell value. Value is if you want to buy it, sell value is if you want to sell it. So here you see it is 78 for iron. And then it is 173 for copper. So if you're here, once again, for money, you want copper. If you're here gaining resources to train your strength, you want iron. Because iron weighs more than double copper. So if you have a limited inventory space, you want to maximize that weight. Anywho, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you got something important, helpful out of this. I'm going to be trying to deliver some more bite-sized tutorials so you don't have to, you know, dedicate half an hour to figure out how to left-click, right-click. Shabam. I love you. God bless. And goodbye.